Welcome back. You know, a million dollars has long been considered the ultimate goal for having a comfortable retirement. But U.S. News and World Report says times have changed. Adam Wolf is here to talk about it. Adam is one of the area's leading certified financial planners. His firm, Wolf Retirement Navigation, helps people plan for their retirement. Hi, Adam. Thanks for being here. Great to see you. Thank you. Great to see you, too. So will a million dollars cut it in today's environment or not? It all depends on who you are. So sometimes I read these articles and they shoot for these like large dollar amounts. And, and a lot of times that works for some folks. I mean, having a million dollars is a, a, attainable for some folks. But some people come in and meet with me um, in the office with 100,000 bucks to $200,000 and they're perfectly fine. It all depends on where you are within your retirement savings, um, what kind of pension you can rely on in, in, in your um, uh, retirement years and also social security for you and if you're married, your spouse as well. So it's the timing of all these different retirement income streams and assets, how to maximize those sources. So then how do you help your clients determine their retirement number? Is that how you would phrase it, your retirement number? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the retirement number is, you know, what you need to save and how much you need to have set aside in addition to Social Security, in addition to your pension. So what we do, we take an inventory of where you're at. And, you know, looking at your retirement years, you're spending a lot of time saving and accumulating. Then we get to the point where we're a few years away from retirement that we want to focus like a laser on when these sources of income are going to be available to you, like a pension that you can access at either 62 or 65, or Social Security, having that accessible at 62 or deferring it all the way to age 70, and then taking a look at your IRAs and 401ks to see safely how much that can be generated from those amounts to put together on an annual basis a retirement income plan to show all that and to allow you to be comfortable in retirement. A lot of financial advisors will just simply go with like stocks and bonds for their clients, but it sounds to me like there's a lot more that goes into retirement planning. Can you kind of talk on that a little bit? Yeah, I like to sort of uh, equate it to if you're going in for heart surgery or you have heart disease, going to see your general practitioner is not going to cut it. You're going to want to see a specialist that focuses in on, on that specific need. I totally focus, and at my company, we totally focus on retirement. So instead of having to service everybody, whether you're in your accumulation stage of your life, your retirement stage of your life is the most important thing. And there's all different types of advisors out there. We are financial fiduciaries first, meaning we put your interests legally ahead of our own, and a lot of advisors don't. So then it sounds like what people need to do is find out their retirement number. And if you're curious to know what yours is, you want what is called a retirement readiness review. And Adam is so kind because you are now for the next 15 minutes. As people call, you're going to do this for them at no charge. Yes. So let's make sure everyone knows the number. It's 904-232-8760. Now this is for folks that are what, just uh, getting closer and closer five to 10 years away or so from retirement? Yeah, either if you're nearing retirement or in retirement, that's okay. the biggest deal. Okay, so if you qualify for this and you call within the next 15 minutes, 904-232-8760. You can also go to wolfretirement.com to learn more about Adam. He has two offices for your con convenience. One is in Jacksonville. One is in Clay County. And then something else, too. You know you're always on Facebook. So while you're on Facebook, be sure you search Wolf Retirement Navigation. And you can connect with Adam and his folks on Facebook. Be sure while you're there, you give them a like. That way, when things come around and there's information you need to see, it'll come in your news feed. So be sure you like Adam's page when you're on there. And thank you again, Adam, for joining us. For some people, this is going to be a, a, a real life-saving moment. So we appreciate you joining us and sharing all of this. Yeah, happy to be here. Thank you very much. We'll be back.